to do over here is we're going to have one cubic yard board for this uh, sit on and so we've made it 12 foot long so we're going to leave at least uh, one foot in for the first to start off and one foot on that side so we don't break the concrete open when we put the, uh, the bolt through so now we're going to space these apart and so 10 feet divided by three is well there's actually four stands but you divide by three it's going to be 3.33 feet each so every three feet we're going to mount one of these so we're going to space these out on our rack over there Once you've tightened all the bolts down in the concrete, these bolts here are still a little bit loose. We can snug those up once the panels are on, a little bit later. So the next thing we do is just grab a panel. These are the uh, Aeon Rise. We're going to use 360 watts in this case. We can go up to 540 watts on these racks. So this is going to be just over 1300 watts. So we can go up to over um, of the 540 watt panel, so we can go up to about 2500 watts. Uh, on this rack and um, yeah so basically just take your panel I like working with the wires at the top so I don't have to crawl to the bottom and then put it on there sorry if that noise reminded you of high school the teacher and the, the chalkboard and here's the end clamps over here all right and you see they just slide into the aluminum rail right there and clip on there nicely and we'll just get the allen key if you haven't got yet it's going to finger tight on this right now you just kind of make sure the panels are uh, depending how high it is at the bottom over here if you're living in this in the area with snow you're going to get snow falling off the panel and collecting over here so depending how high you want this to be you can you can slide the panel further back like that giving it some more height over there for the snow to collect but over here this is on a black asphalt surface so I'm expecting the snow to kind of melt pretty quickly so um, yeah so that's the end brackets there and just kind of snug that up and then we'll get the allen key and then continue also the hard lines up over there at the bottom we've got way too much out the top over here so also make sure that you've got the edges lined up before you tighten things up so we're having to loosen this rail and so we can just going to take loose these bolts over here I'll show you we just loosen these bolts over here and that will allow this rail to kind of slide and we can just tap it in a little bit more and that looks that looks pretty good right there okay then we can just tighten it up again when you're lining your panels it's so easy just to go ahead and, and, and um, start bolting them down but it's also very easy just to have the slightest bit of angle change like that to have the panels kind of running off the end of the rail over there so just do a bottom one in the corner over there so it allows you to kind of move the panels but also hold them there then we'll get the second one up put the second one on there and just kind of see where we can start tightening and once we've got them all aligned properly I mean you can measure as well between this between there and there and make sure that the same distance is on the other side many things you can do but uh, the easy way is just to put a few panels next to each other and uh, before you start tightening things up get them all aligned the way you want them to be and tighten up are all the panels in series you'll notice there's a, a male and a female connector on every and every single one of them and then the cables that are also supplied <clears throat> there's a male and there's a female and um, we'll plug that in there but i want you to be cautious right now this is the last step i want you to do so i'm trying to show you what not to do so if i plug this in over here it'll be the black one on this side all right and then you just plug the red one in so it's going to be a male to female male to female so we're adding up these voltages right on the end there it's actually going to come out that side so just just plug that in there i just want to show you what happens now these 
you'll see it's kind of quite hazy today. The sun is hazy. We've just got these all wired up. Each of these panels over here, if we can, if we can get in there, they're 300 watts each on this particular one. And they put out a maximum of 9 amps at 39 volts. or And the open circuit voltage is 49. So four panels in series, even though it's kind of overcast today, is nearly 200 volts. So if you touch these wires together, that's the energy you're getting right now on a hazy day. So be careful. This is not this is this is lethal voltages we're working with. I suggest that you wire this into the inverter first, these ends, and the last thing you do is plug these into the into the into the solar panels over here to avoid this type of thing happening. Because if you're working with live wires like that, um, it can be pretty dangerous. Okay, it's, it's fun to do. It's cool to start fires and things with solar panels, but uh, as you can see, that is pretty much, that'll kill you.